Okay. I'm setting out. Dashboard dims. What I fuck with my hat? What I fuck with my wipers? Interesting. Oh gosh, for a second there, I thought it was snow. I hope it's just a lot of rocks. If I drive fast enough, I can outpace my battery usage. the Olympium Fragments are where I'm heading right now. Like, just keep following the story and then I'll, I'll go so deep into the zone that I find my upgrade material. And it's either that, or I'm just supposed to randomly drive around. And I just have been missing it. There's a good chance I've just been missing it, because we have everything else, basically. Although there are still a fuck ton of enemies I haven't seen yet that are mentioned. Hi, car. That's nice. My my little dashboard toy is uh It's got a glowing light. Keep me company in the dark. How dark can I make my car? Oh tits. <laughs> okay, not the time. I'm sorry. I'll keep it moving. I just wanted to see if I could have my dashboard and everything fully off. I don't think I can have my dashboard completely off. Yeah. That's intriguing. Okay. <laughs> There's no stealth moding this up for us. No stakeout mode for the car. Look, sometimes cars give you that option. Turn off the lights of the uh, the dashboard. My car kind of has the option, although it's kind of like an all or nothing thing. But I've seen some cars where you can like dim certain parts because you don't want to like be blinded in the middle of the night. Like, say my car has a built-in GPS screen that's bright as fuck. Sometimes <laughs> that shit has to be turned down. Or I can't see the road at night. over here, so I guess I'll grab that. Whoops. Okay, that is a warren. I am going around that. So don't get ambushed out here. 
I think I'm just gonna go back there. I don't care about the radiation damage. Even fully, I'm missing so many things. Ah, oh, shit. Well, I'll deal with it. I'm missing so many items, but I don't know what to like get out and religiously grab as much as before. I mean, sometimes it's just grab everything. But that can be a little overwhelming. Oh, fuck. The storm already? Seriously? It's okay. I don't need the energy in this area anyways. I mean, I could also just grab it. I just also don't want to drive back. <laughs> I'm gonna get back on the road. Um. Okay, I see what I need. Here we go. Emergency free at file number two, part five. Oh my god, that is way faster. Hell yeah, love that. Oh god. I should have emptied my inventory, I think. Bulb into plastic. Bad. Oh shit. Oh! Free impact hammer. Lovely. Navigating in the dark! Okay. Needed to go there. I can just throw it over here with the other. All right, let's turn on the podcast. Oh, it's the last part of this one. So that's the history of the Olympic Exclusion Zone. We know it absolutely existed, and that something blighted the area. Dr. Ophelia Turner was a real person who grew up there, and limb technology, claimed to be her invention, was the reason the zone was created. The facts point to either the pursuit of limb or the technology itself doing something terrible to the area, and maybe even to the people who stayed behind. For such a vast, valuable area as the Olympic Peninsula to be lost to the world for the indefinite future, someone needed to take the fall. The evidence in this corner paints the target square on the martyr part of this equation. Or did Dr. Ophelia Turner know what she was unleashing upon her homeland? If she did it willingly, then she would have been a monster. But if the government strong-armed her into it, then she would have had no choice but to become a martyr. To answer that question, we need more information still. And that's when we'll come back in part three if it shows up on my routes it's kind of up to RNG a little bit which is funny I've got a lot of log debt to read to it's probably not really gonna happen I'll try to get to some of them but I just 
there. They should have done audio logs. That would have been nice. This is the perfect game to have every single log you make be an audio log. Bunnies with chemicals in them, so I don't want to deal with you. I went the wrong fucking way. Oh my god. I didn't think about it till now. Ah, oh, shit. What in the tits? Are you serious? A pod all the way over there? You know what? I'll do it. Because I went the wrong way anyways. I'm intrigued. Yeah, I didn't think about where I was going there. <laughs> My brain just went, I just need to get to an edge of the map. Rather than, I need to get to the orange part of the map. Fun. Flare gun. Circuit boards. Oh, do the flare guns stack? I didn't even realize that. That makes sense. Because most things that we carry by hand, I guess there's also regular flares. Electromagnetics. What the fuck? Oh shit, it's the storm! Oh fuck, it's an EM storm! Oh, no! What a disaster! We're not even in the instability storm yet, we're fucking everything's getting messed up! Ugh. Okay. I accidentally turned the car off, but it doesn't fucking matter. Hopefully there are- oh, oh, Holy shit! It's a good thing I've got this physical shield. <laughs> I hated that. What the fucking hell? This gets to be the first time I've done one of these pods with a fresh inventory, basically. Which means I should be able to get most things out of here. Here, have this repair buddy, too. We'll figure out the tire location later. Now we gotta go. Oh my god, my car! My 
car <laughs> they're so low okay if I hook a left I'll eventually link up to an actual road leading to where I need to go. See, this is the real part that sucks about it, driving out in the instability. It's just a flat, like, everything in your car is getting damaged. Ah, shit, my tire's fucked. Guess what I get to put on there now? Yeehaw! Where'd the blowtorch go? This is one of those emergencies where I kind of need it. Oh shit! I don't have a blowtorch! God, that fucking warrant I avoided earlier. I've got a lot of regrets. Oh, they're accumulating even more. Map a little bit here. Okay, if I go this way, then I can just keep on going on the road. Oh, fuck. Fine. I'm back in the, the eye of the storm at the least. I could have gone for that that energy. <laughs> but I just want to get out of here and slather some repair buddy on my car. It's off-road time. Oh, the worst fucking place to just randomly... Ah, what the fuck? The scary sounds! Shortcut! <laughs> The funny part about this is, with the, because I have the physical shield on, assuming it's reducing damage that I'm taking by like 30 to 60 percent, my car should be fucked. Like, it should be... all the panels should be gone, basically. That was some bad... bad driving. But you know what? It was also fast driving! <laughs> Alright! Please, fucking tell me there's some... ...repair stations on the way. There aren't. Ah, oh, Jesus. Ah, damn. I saw a highway, got excited, but it doesn't lead to where I'm trying to go. Yeah. 
Okay, well... We'll keep it going. So there is... The Salamander Grotto and Neon Reef. Just general resources that I can get. And this area's got an okay amount of unstable energy. I'm going for it. Did it keep having bad luck where, like, I discover something can heal my car up by a lot, and then I don't see that shit again for, like, ever. <laughs> Even just the bad luck, like, when I finally discovered those repair stations, my car was already, like, in good condition. It was... excessive. Alright. I need to fucking fix my car up, actually. Hmm. Closer look. Double checking, triple checking. Oh, thank Christ. Okay. We've got a lot of repair, buddy. So that'll have to do. One of my headlights is out. Jeez. getting into better condition. Although I might be losing my battery this run. I should have made another one. Ah, this is getting brittle. Shit. Okay, so now this takes 10% more impact damage and 5% more explosion damage. I'm getting that right. They, they, they are generally, they could have made the health of these side panels, the side storage, like, halved, and that would have made them actually, like, something to worry about losing. And I'm happy they did it. Alright. What else in my car is kind of fucked? This armored bumper's getting there. I'm kind of curious. So this is a bumper attachment. If I get rid of this... Whoa! Okay. So we can have two bumper attachments and therefore... Two different... items to choose from. Neat, neat, neat. The limb pulser emitter is a little too redundant, so we're gonna leave that in there. And later. Oh, right, I gotta fix my headlight. Oh my god, I only have one of these. Sheesh. I'll be a little bit more careful with the driving. Only a little, though. Oh, it's at full health now. Okay. Ooh. Oh, oh, 
his tire almost made it past me. This is why I carried all these tires in my back. If I hadn't gotten a tire out of the, the pod, I still would have been fine. What do you want from me? <laughs> We're good. There's nothing, nothing there. Leave me alone. He's trying to alert me to shit that's not there anymore. Hey, you wanna, you got a new device? You wanna assign it? No. It's not there anymore. Alright. We've got a marsh, or marsh eggs to my left. Coral things to my front. I'm going for both of those. Those are high enough priority. Is nice car. Oh uh, no. Ah! What the fuck was that? Who wants some? Who was there? He's a holy mystery. Is there anything else happening on this route? I don't think so, right? Yeah, this is a calm location. It's just eerie darkness. What the hell? Concerned something came up to like because it, it could have just been the car quirk, but I've never seen that before. Where like I got an error screen on my dashboard, too. What the fuck was that? And there's a spooky sound. See, either that's a quirk, and my you're more than a quirk, fuck you, psychotic trait, or I'm being haunted. Salamander egg thing 177 meters this way. That's where we're going. I'm not gonna like religiously hunt them down around here. So we don't have a lot of time until the storm starts. We should get good now. Alright. Oh, is it just this one car? Okay, fine. I appreciate how glowy these eggs are in the dark now. Mm. 
get some more 300 meters away, and there should be a hot. Fresh batch corals right here. Still unsure if light has anything to do with making these pop up faster. Stop turning your car lights on. Hold up. Okay, just making sure. Now, maybe the eerie ro the eerie darkness trait actually is something more. list. Huh. I guess it goes under something else. Charge stop, Dr. Francis Cook. How to even begin to sum up my first few days on the job. My first experiences working for this organization. I have no idea where to start. Arda is doing some remarkable things and has plans for so much more. And the organization is growing at such a rate, it really feels like we're recruiting the best of the best here, both at home and from overseas. We've been flying in new hires from halfway across the world, and admin can't process the security clearance is fast enough. It looks like I've been assigned to the outfit researching inductive charging and resonant coupling. The team is small, but we'll be working with the very latest limb technology. There's already talk of how we might have a functional prototype by the end of the year. That means a working charging station, one deployed in the field, able to power devices from as small as a radio to as large as a small train. It's truly astonishing, and every morning I have to pinch myself. I mean, I do like the charge stations. And, uh, clearly that part of their, their research did work out. The wireless charging. Happening again. Our car's messing with me, I think. Some of the messages you see on that little screen there is reliant on the car's overall health. So it's like, if it's healthy, it gives you hearts, and it's like, oh yeah, I'm happy. And then if it's in the red, it goes, why do I exist only to suffer? What have you done to me? It's like, I just took you for a car, solid, you know, solid college Sunday drive. Alright. 
nothing crazy along our route here. We got a squire car and some more eggs. Holy shit. <laughs> you realize how much I had left in there. God damn. Eggs. Hey, 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 hey! Oh shit! Oh fuck! Oh my god, damn! Was the most that's the furthest I've ever been dragged away like that. God. Oh my god. And I don't have a fucking pro or a pry bar. So much fucking damage to me. Oh god. I need to use a med kit. There might be a charge station in the next place. There isn't. Everything is suffering. I don't even want corrupted power. Magnified explosions! Oh, well, wow. At least the wind's high. I think I can just get my health back up via, via my car power. God. It's even more scary because I don't know exactly all the, the little things behind the game in terms of how dying works. I think we can come back in the area. But with, like, stuff having been lost or something? I don't know. Alright. Was it gonna do the circuit charge thing again? Not here. So that's... kind of them. Getting low on fuel. And sadly, the next gas station's on the next level, I think. But this should this should be enough. I'm amused they didn't do a, uh, a lot more kinetic stuff 
with filling up your car here. Like, opening the gas cap up manually. I think a player forgetting that their gas cap is left open and uncapped would be a great way to troll them. Like, oh, your fuel's flying out the back. Whoopsies. Your gas cap got damaged because you... You just... Oh, shit, there's a charge stop. Fuck yeah, okay. Hey, your gas cap got cap... Uh, destroyed. I'm being exposed to the elements. Whoops. I need a pry bar. You know what? I can get one from here. Excuse me. Go back to where you were meant to be. I guess I technically don't even need it to be in the slot, but it is nice to be able to see the health bar of it. No, no, I guess I do need to have it out. I'm just so used to pulling it out automatically that <laughs> I might like myself, that I thought the game would do it too for you too. Ooh, okay, that was a lot more plasma. I guess it's just RNG, how much plasma these things carry. You can see it inside. Maybe? Okay, maybe not. That one looked like it had one plasma and it gave me two? Brr. All right. much do we have? Eh. Not as much as I was hoping. God damn! It's like nothing over on this side. So maybe when we're swerving the car... Left? Swerving left, windshield wipers turn on. Feels like one. Engine smoking? Ah, oh, fuck. Oops. Mechanics kit. I got one of those. Bink, bink. How long that been going on? Uh oh. Oh, okay, that's what happened. <laughs> My car wasn't even on. <laughs> I think I turned it off when I got on, but I did take out the engine, and that would probably do it. Alright. So 
Do I just need to go through one door, one gate, and we'll be good? These fucking things. You know, it kind of looks a little nice out here in the more little areas. Daytime not storming is pretty decent. Those are fucking new. Yep. The shield stays on. Yeesh. Didn't like that. So I guess from like cabins and stuff, I should expect to get people things, like fabric. I'm about to get devoured. Ah! Hey! The magnet thingy! Ah, oh boy. Even if I want to read the description for tour bus and the tourist traps. Okay. Oh. Damn it! Hey! Oh. Thanks! One of those explosive bunnies came out. But, um, it ran into, it ran into a different trap. As long as it's not fucking up my car, I guess. I gotta grab them as soon as they're dropped. Okay. Oh wow, you kept it here for me? <laughs> Y'all are too kind. Let's see if I'm messing with anything in my car. Triggers a quirk. All right. We have a gas station in this area. I'm gonna try to go there and top off my gas tanks. And then we just keep going. I don't care too much about the corrupted energy. At least not while I have no Olympium to spend it on all the shit that it requires. Olympian fragments? I don't even know if that's actually how it's said. Um, so the gas station for this place is over here. Let's get out of here. There actually might still be 
that's been pretty common. Uh, that like in that like in that last area, there was corrupt energy, and there was also unstable energy. So I guess I need a shop. Get up. I don't have to get all the way to the gas station now. Although I'll still do it just to top off and maybe get a decoration piece. I don't really need my... I don't really need that other engine upgrade. But I'm gonna get it just because I want... I want it. I want to go fast! grasp on what my little dashboard light reacts to. If it's, if it's wiggling a little bit, then it's like 2,500 radiation. And if it's like yellow wiggling a lot, then that's the 5,000 radiation. So once I get that radiation suit, anything blue should be safe. There's a storm closing in. Fuck. Alright, I was about to go loot those other buildings there. I was like, yeah, hey, we, we deserve a little bit of loot time. Apparently not. My bad. Oh, hell yeah. I was right to stop here. Uh, not, not the best radiation area, but whatever. One of those explosive boxes, but it's active on its own. That's fun. Hadn't seen that yet. Oh no. Ugh. Goddamn left, right. Okay. is that? Radiant Dredge? Oi! Get the fuck out of here! My car! There wasn't even a deco thing in here. That's mostly what I came in here for. Oh, 
Oh, and there's a storm on the way, too. Yeesh. Okay, so the Radiant Dredges seem to spawn the ticker boxes active. So we're going to watch out for that. Did I see the radiation in that area be red? <whistles> I'm gonna have to slather my car and repair putty after this. Please let this be unstable energy. It's not. Get the hell out of here. Yeah, we got a shift of falling my ass. And I don't know if I really want to find out what it is. I guess I should have kept this on. the squall come over me in case it's a new type of squall and I want to get the log information so I know what I'm walking into in the future. Things seem peaceful for now though. is about to like break so is this warning get in car are you saying that because I'm at the edge of the circle <laughs> if I need to get a little back from the edge for a squall to actually do anything. Okay. Nope. I mean, yes, in that this <laughs> I had to back up, but no, it wasn't a new wasn't a new squall, anyways. Something new out here, I don't know about. Couple of new things out there. That's perpetual stability. I'm allowed to loot a little bit. If there's even anything worth looting. <laughs> 